has been so nice to have my pop up here with me because he's just talking to me and we helping each other out. We are like literally taking care of each other. Some days I cook, I make him something to eat and take it to him. Some days he does the same for me. He does the dishes. He's a wonderful, wonderful guy. Today we were just talking about our family history and his uncles and his grandfather and his dad and just talking about the things that us as families don't talk about like the running around of the dads on their moms the the uh, physical abuse the just what we thought was deemed what you needed to do in order to get through your life and it's been passed down to generations it was just a really really good talk so that talk delayed my video um editing my video but it is 4 15 and i'm getting ready to um i have it sending it to youtube now and i have to actually upload it and um fix the tags and everything and today's video will be posted for y'all by i want to say five o'clock but right now i'm watching um i'm starting black widow and then I am going to go in here and make this um, next Hello Fresh meal. And you guys will come with me. Hopefully, that video won't be... Um, it's probably going to be a long video because I'm not... But yeah, that's what we're doing. I have been having hot flashes and cold. Hot, cold, hot, cold, hot, cold all day. It's really been... A weird day, but I have been up moving around. I got something to eat, and I'm feeling pretty good. Okay. Hey, y'all. It is the next day, and I plan on getting these Hello Fresh meals made fresh instead of waiting. So, today I'm going to do another vegan one. There's no meat in this one. It is the creamy lemon spinach ricotta ravioli with roasted bell pepper and Parmesan. That looks so delicious. So I'm gonna do it differently than I did yesterday's video, which you see today. Um, I am going to get myself all prepared, get the vegetables and everything prepared, and then I'm gonna start recording because that took a minute. Prep time is 10 minutes, cook time is 40 minutes, and the calories are 640. This is one of the Hall of Fame um, meals, and it is when salt, it, there is a salty season, little note that they put, when salting your pasta, cooking water, don't be shy. You'll want to add a few big pinches until it tastes almost as salty as the sea. Mm, this will help infuse the ravioli with each seasoning aka flavor to complement the sauce okay so i'm gonna try that i'm not gonna put as much salt as the sea because i don't like salty water but i'm gonna put some salt in it okay let's get it in first let me show you the ingredients again there's your scan code and then there's your recipe Bell peppers. I love the red ones. Got some sour cream. Got some Philadelphia cream. Some cream cheese, sour cream. We got some veggie. I guess this is the stock. One lemon. Two tomatoes. Kind of disappointed of that tomato. Mm. And two things of Parmesan cheese. And two things of garlic. Disappointed. 
disappointed at this. This this whole tomato is garbage. Uh, I'm gonna leave them a little note about that. Okay, so I got my water boiling for my ravioli. I put the salt in there already. And now I need to, as you can see back here, I have all of my produce prepped. I got the bell pepper, um, have the tomato cut in six wedges, uh, peel and thinly slice the garlic and zest the quarter lemon and quarter lemon. So now I need to drizzle some bell, the, each bell pepper with olive oil and season salt and season with pepper and salt. Cut, place cut side down on one side of the baking sheet and then toss the tomato on empty side with a drizzle of olive oil, salt and pepper. Roast on the middle rack until veggies are softened and, and lightly charred 20 to 25 minutes. Let bell pepper cool slightly then transfer to a cutting board and thinly slice into strips. So this is about to be, oh good, I'm glad I didn't put that garlic in there last because that garlic is supposed to cook in the pot. So let me get to it. All right, so <clears throat> let me show you my veggies that are gonna go. Here's my peppers, here's my tomatoes. They are going to go in the preheated oven. And then there's my garlic, my zest, and my lemons. Those will be next. Right now, I am waiting for my water to boil. And I forgot to preheat the dang oven, y'all. So I'm preheating the oven. Then I'm going to stick my veggies in there and hopefully they'll cook some. And then I'll cook my ravioli and then we will be done this thing. So where we are in the journey is medium high heat, about to roast the garlic, about to make the sauce. The pasta is done and is ready to eat. So heating up this skillet, we're going to add our garlic. So here's our garlic. Heat a drizzle of oil in a large pan, add garlic, and cook. So we're going to cook our little pieces of garlic. I didn't really turn out the way I want them to turn out, but until soften two to three minutes. So Take that as salt. Now it says add one fourth cup of reserved pasta cooking water. One third. Oops. Half a cup. Stop. 
All right, here we are, taste test, and I got a good amount. Yes, there's cheese in it, but it's vegan. There's no meat, and I did it myself, and I am exhausted, but I wanted to come and taste it with you guys so you can see. All right, so cut it in half. It is spinach ricotta. Look at that. That's good. It's got like, I had to put some lemon in it, so I taste the lemon zest. Um, it's got a, the cream cheese and the sour cream. I really don't taste that a lot, but the sauce is good. Can't have this every night because of the sour cream and the cream cheese and the Parmesan cheese and the ricotta cheese. Not every night, but this is really, really good. And it wasn't that hard to prepare. It was just that me being winded and having heat flashes, wow. And then I'm going to leave that clip in there, pop out wiping the sweat off the back of my neck. And he sure enough would have made this for me, but it wasn't that bad. Mm-mm-mm. 